Hello everyone and welcome to another KSP video and in today's video we are going to be having a look and testing out a very very strange looking design concept for a starship which I think is actually really quite smart and actually has a pretty good chance of actually end up being pretty close to what the real design will look like after you know a few iterations from now so let us get into it I'm going to be talking about some of the advantages I think some of the disadvantages why I think this is going to happen maybe and um, yeah, you guys will be able to watch a really cool starship launch and landing in the background. We're going to orbit, and then we're going to deorbit, and then we're going to land. It's going to be epic, awesome, yeah. It's a little bit short of the video today, about eight minutes. Let me just see. Yeah, about eight minutes. Um, normal video is a little over ten minutes, so um, got a lot to get to. So I'm probably going to be talking really fast. And it is three thirty in the morning. I don't know if what I should be doing. I should go to sleep really should go to sleep, but I really want to get this video done for you guys. So, um, I don't know, all this energy for some reason, uh, sleep schedules, right? Um, so if you don't know, this design was proposed by Urkex on Twitter, uh, kind of made the rounds a little bit over on, uh, on space Twitter. So, um, some of you have probably seen this already. Um, and if you don't know who Urkex is, I will have a link in the description to his Twitter. Um, also we'll have a link to the actual render that I'm basing this design off of. Um, I'm not going to show it on screen just for you know whatever copyright reasons. Um, so if you want to go check it out, all the links will be in the description. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I, I'd consider Urkix, if you don't know who he is, he's one of the three renderer people for Starship and SpaceX, and he basically just rock in general. So, I, and I'd say he's one of the more, like, uh, in air quotes, accurate ones. Uh, so he, um... So basically what ends up happening is Elon is like, ah, blah, 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 something, something, Starship design change. And then like a day later, Urkax is going to like post something that he made some quick render. Or maybe not. They, they look really good, right? Um, for the amount of time he spends. I'm like, oh my, how do you make something that good in like a day, bro? Anyway, um, and then Elon will be like, oh yeah, that's like exactly what I was, or pretty close to what I was thinking of. So it's like, oh, this dude, some, this dude is something has a way of kind of knowing what Elon is talking about. I don't know how. But uh, what I do know how to is I just have to look at the land. Look at the land. Is that worthy of a sub? Is that? Yeah, yes, it is. You should sub. Oh my gosh, guys. 15K subs by tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. Um, anyway, huge, huge thanks to the, those of you who do, or those of you who also join our Discord or member, Patreon, all that stuff. Also, we got some new merch um, that just came out like yesterday. Um, uh, some high quality, high epic Jeff Bezos memes. If you want to go check out some Jeff Who, some Sue Origin memes. Go over to pilotshop.com, super epic. Also got some other uh, merch there. I, I won't like sell out as much in a few days. Just, it's, a, it's just a new product launch and I don't know, go buy it or don't, up to you. Anyway, back to the content of the video. So, um, why do I like it? So, a lot, I'm saying so a lot, jeez. Um, so basically you have to, to get to understand why this is a good idea, I think, you have to have a, at least a sort of under, good understanding. Not good, but like there, there's a fundamental part of aerodynamics here that is going to come into play. So, um, it, it's, it's just, I'm going to quickly explain it to those who don't who don't know it. Um, it's pretty obvious once you once you think about it. Um, if you don't, you probably know this. It's just you probably haven't thought about this if you if you don't already know. It. So, basically, the further oh the further. Um, the further far away your control surface is on your craft, um, the more control authority you have, right? So if you look on a plane, the, the elevators will control the pitch. They're all the way back on the horizontal stabilizer in the, in the backmost part of the plane, um, which means it's, it's the furthest away from the middle, furthest away from the center of mass, which means you get as much leverage as possible, essentially, right? It's why it's basically, it's basically the same concept as like... Um, like just leverage right like if you're trying to like use it like a, a to like lift up a box or something and you have like a big kind of wood thing i don't know <laughs> it's, it's just it's basically the concept of leverage um basically just just that right and try the ailerons are on the tips of the wings and it's why the flaps which are on like basically the middle of the wings they're really close to the center of mass they don't actually even though they're really big and they come really far down from the from the wing they really only create drag they don't like nosedive you like if something if they if you put the flaps where the elevators would would go you you would nosedive essentially um so that's that's basically the the theory here that we're going to be going off of but not really theory it's pretty it's it's really not, it's a real thing um so basically the idea the the crux of the idea um as the, the, the basically the reason behind doing this making this change even though it is ugly is the if you can tell the uh, the front fins are way closer to the front of the craft as they current as they currently are right so 
basically what that means is you're getting more control authority for the same size of fin, which means you would get the same control authority, but you could reduce the size of the fin a little bit, which is basically what this is. It is a is basically taking the front the front flaps, moving them forward, making them smaller, um, which is essentially what the design is, and that saves mass. You know, we like saving mass. That's good. Very good. Very awesome. Um, you know, that means we can carry more to orbit. You know, more efficient. Blah blah. blah. Um, you know, I mean, I want it to look good. Look, sir, they're on my list. You know. But I, I, a working rocket is maybe a little bit better than, a little more important than looks. Uh, and I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm honestly already starting to get used to it after just looking at it for this long, um, just recording these commentaries and been flying it. So, um, yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea. And I think, because Elon's been talking a lot about redesigning the front flaps. And I think this is, I think this has got a pretty good chance of being at least semi close to what the design is going to end up looking like. Because it just, it just makes sense. Um, you can have a smaller flap, and you can basically accomplish the same stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. You know, we'll be on the edge of our seats, right? So, um, I do want to quickly discuss here some part of our, our descent here. So I had a, so um, some guy in my Discord right discuss or talk about quite a bit. Um, his name is Black Shadow. Um, he does these starships for me, which are really, really, really good starships. And he can set up this three-axis control with Cal controllers, so you can have the the. The fins do pitch, yaw, and roll, and so uh, I don't get it. Although I sort of get it now, because I had to make these new flaps, and doing these new flaps means I had to figure out how to use these cal controllers to get pitch, yaw, and roll set up. So, as you can see, we when, we, when you get to our landing burn and our flip maneuver, I basically had to set up basically a little animation to get the fins to like retract like they normally would, um, basically in real life. Um, with a cal controller, and here comes our landing burn, and it does, it's a, a little bit of work. I just bring that up, I just bring this cal controller stuff up, because if it doesn't look quite as smooth or as clean as normal, that's why. I basically had to figure out how to do all this stuff in like an hour, um, because I took a giant nap during the middle of the day and completely memed out and did not have time to do the video when I wanted to do it, because I was well asleep. But, so, welcome to, you know, Q3 a.m. Um... <laughs> Uh, this is not healthy. So, <laughs> um, we made it down though at the end. I don't know. I'll try to refine my Cal controller abilities in the future. Maybe I'll even do a tutorial on how to set up that for the Starship. Let me know if that's something you guys would want. Um, but, oh boy, we've made it to the end, guys. We've made it. We've done it. Anyway, uh, here is all the members on screen. Huge thank you to you guys. You guys are super cool. Here is all the patrons. You guys are also super cool. You guys are Awesome. Thank you. Thank you to both groups of people. But that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please write our comments to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.